So, hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today I'm here to present uh, a fast startup sand dispenser, as I call it. In fact, a 0.4 second startup sand dispenser. Um, now, I showed another the sand dispenser, also a uh, 3 tick sand dispenser last month. Actually, I think it was in this December. Uh, it was this one. And when I say 3 tick, I mean it dispenses 1 cent every 0.15 seconds. Just to reiterate what's a sand dispenser, just a machine which pushes sand into an end portal so it triggers the um, duplication glitch. And the 3 game ticks just indicate that it does that every 3 game ticks. Um, now, this is a pretty basic design, nothing too complicated, but I need it. I thought, let's show it to you guys. Uh, however, this thing has a very s f slow startup time. Uh, what I mean by startup time is basically um, the time. In the st between the start um, of like the first pulse going into the system, so the system becomes unstable until the, the time that the first sand arrives uh, at the end platform. Now, let's say we count from here, for example, like when this turns on, then we have to go down here. That's uh, four game ticks over here, three game ticks that way, three game ticks that way, that's 10 game ticks, and like 23 game ticks or something to fall down. So, we're talking about a uh, startup of one to two seconds. Uh, I'm doing the precise one. Either way, that's a very long one, and I wanted to improve that. I cannot explain the reasons, but let's just say I needed it, a faster startup, and well, I didn't need it, but the faster the better, and I really mean that. So I came up with this thing a couple of weeks ago. This was already pretty good. It's got a startup time down to 21 seconds, and I wanted to make a video today. About this, but I thought, nah, let's let's postpone recording because I'm lazy, and instead actually work on some redstone. So I did some research over here, and then I got this design, uh, which is a actual sound dispenser, which has a 0.4 second or eight tick um, startup time, which I think is really, really, really good. Actually, like maybe it can be improved. I hope it can be improved. In fact, I challenge you guys to improve it if you want to, because it would help me a lot <laughs> if there's a better design out there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't see a direct directly see a way to improve this. Um, I did some research with with this particular setup where you basically hold the sand up, then you release it with a piston below, and then push it down as quickly as possible. Like, um, in order to trigger the um duplication glitch, it seems to be necessary to wait eight, eight game picks seems to be the minimum. Oh well, but if you find a way, please inform me and please make it like video or anything. Like, it would be very, very useful. Again, I can't explain why, but it would have a decent impact on the build. Now, I want to show this one because it's a bit weird. I'll show, talk about that in the end of the video. But over here, we have our main one, which I want to talk about. Now, let's first show it in action. Oh, I already left the clock on, apparently. Same thing over here. I should turn the clock off. And over there. No. I have the clocks all everywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. This clock is off. Okay, so here we have our clock is on, and our, we're gonna change our input. And yeah, as you can tell, sand is being dispensed into the portal. Uh, every three game takes again. We just have to believe that. And it happens really, really quickly. How quickly? Well, let me show you. Um, now, first of all, we're measuring this like this. Uh, over here we have an uh, instant not gate. Just as soon as, turn, as soon as this part of the circuit turns off, um, this command lock turns on. You can be like, wow, but you, this is where you turn it on. Well, yeah, but this will be in a central location, whereas this represents an instant repeater line, which can be like a thousand blocks long. And this is the chunk which we're worried about. Also, like, this whole thing has to do with chunk loading issue. Uh, well, I pro that, prob that probably wasn't obvious to anyone, uh, but it, uh, it does have to do with chunk loading. That's why I'm so concerned about it. Anyway, um, fast startup times. So, we started timing at this point, so whenever this thing gives off the signal, like that, um, we got a time step in the chat, and in the end, the time mechanism is a bit weird. Basically, the way it works is you have two clock over there. Uh, every game tick, uh, it sets uh, these two blocks to a redstone block if uh, it's air, so it replaces air by redstone blocks, and then it also sets. Uh, one of the two blocks is turned, so as you can tell, it's alternating between the two, those two command blocks right there. So the idea basically is that, um, as you can tell, not every time when I break it, it happens. That's simply because, that's it. only in, in the optics, the rest of the block, which um, is placed here, will not be replaced by stone. 
and in the event text you could say the redstone block which gets placed here will be replaced by um, will not be replaced by stone and it will actually trigger the mechanism um, that's just like a way so that every tick you can actually trigger it oh well a bit fake but uh, and then over here you have the actual thing which is being triggered by the mechanism so that is something you need um, that's how the mechanism works um, if you want to take on the challenge and make a better one that's the timing you should real rules you should also use uh, of course if you want to compare it to my design now uh, about the startup time I should probably mention show this so uh, I'll show you in action but what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna have this charge up and I'm going to do this and we're going to basically deactivate it and quickly go into the end and we're gonna wait for a bit and as you can tell, we're getting stuff through. Eight ticks after it started, as I already told you, or I don't know, I'm not sure if I told you. Anyway, um, so that's working fine. Also, you can tell that uh, sun is going through every three ticks, so that's also fine. And yeah, so I don't know this. Oh yeah, just one more thing I want to mention. Um, oh yeah, actually two more things. First of all, uh, let's turn this thing off. This circuit right here looks a bit strange probably, but this, all of this is the flip-flop. You can find a link to that on the wiki. And also, you can find a link to my previous, like, to my video about Santa, the auto Santa dispenser in the description. Um, but this is just the flip-flop. The idea is simply, uh, simple that, simply that we want um, the output, so like the input of the actual Santa dispenser itself to be going on or off for like multiples of 12 ticks so basically we, this machine like it start if you like if you were to turn this lever off and then turn it on again like 20 game ticks later or something it can give very strange results like it can break and stuff so it works but only if you like turn it on and off at the right time so that's what this clock is for so you can just do, do random input here and this clock will take care of uh, make sure that the signal only gets updated every 12 game ticks. That's the idea behind a D flip flop. And I'll also link to the wiki uh, design, which, because apparently I couldn't come up with this, even though it's really simple. Just use some repeater logs. Um, yeah, I think that's about, about it for this design. If you want to take on another challenge, uh, you can try to explain some redstone, because this is the uh, old design. Uh, it's very similar to that one. Only difference is really that there's a, the repeater which is over here in this design, was moved over here, here, and here in this design. The reason I was is because over here, for some reason, it seemed to work fine when I would like, I suppose these are zero tick pulses or one tick pulses or something, which were going through this block and into this piston when, even though this block was being extended. Um, but for some reason, when I moved it over here, um, it was like I had trouble with this piston and it, it just didn't trigger anymore uh, over here all the business trigger and when i moved it to so i was like hmm, maybe it's like relative to the chunk maybe it's, that's like how, how it's like dependent but so i moved it exactly two chunks over here in this direction and it's still like these two pistons didn't work for some reason so it is really coordinate dependent it seems so i would just didn't understand and i added these delays to make and that fixed it seems but if you want to figure out what's going on, then feel free to, uh, if you want to challenge. Um, yeah, over there's nothing important. Uh, so yeah, you can get the design, that one actually, in the description. Um, yeah, you can also find my video, my link to the 0.15 cent sec second cent dispenser, the wiki, the flip-flop page, and uh, I think that will be about it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope I will see you in another video.